Sphinx Cat vs. Siamese Cat What are the differences between the two cat breeds? These two well-known cat breeds love attention. They are affectionate with family, this cat breeds love to talk. If you've got a Sphinx and Siamese cat at home, prepare to have some lengthy conversations. These two cat breeds are medium-sized cats. Sphinx cat typically weighs 6 to 12 pounds while Siamese cat weighs between 8 to 10 pounds. The main feature of a Sphinx cat is its lack of a fur coat. The cats are not, however, entirely hairless but covered with fine, downy hair that is said to be like peach skin. This cat has no whiskers or eyelashes. The head resembles that of a Devon Rex. The eyes are deep set and the shape of a lemon. The body is fine boned but muscular and has a barrel chest. The legs are long and slender and have a bull-legged appearance caused by the barrel chest. The tail is long and tapering and hard to the touch. They are warm and soft to touch and have earned the name suede hot water bottle. The skin is wrinkled on parts of the head, body, and legs but should be taught everywhere else. Pigmentation is clearly visible on the skin of the Sphinx cat. All skin patterns and colors are acceptable. The Siamese cat is a medium-sized breed with a long, lithe body that is graceful and elegant but still has a muscular feel. The body is well-balanced and athletic, the legs slender and the paws small and oval. The head viewed face on resembles a triangle tapering in straight lines to a fine muzzle. The ears are large and pricked and are set so that they follow the lines of the triangle. The eyes are oriental in shape and slant towards the nose. The tail is long and tapering and free from kinks. The short, fine and close lying coat have a pale main body color is pale with darker intensely colored points. The colored points only extend to the mask area of the face, ears, legs, and tail which are the cooler parts of the body. It comes in a wide range of colors. The eye color will be a vivid intense blue. Sphinx and Siamese cats love human attention and very talkative breeds. The Sphinx cat is outgoing, mischievous, people oriented and loves attention. These cats often greet their owners when they come home and are very talkative. They are highly intelligent, playful, and cuddly. Sphinxes are champion purrs. They like to sleep with their owners, under the covers. Their body temperature is a degree or two above the average for normal cats and they have voracious appetites to compensate for the heat loss. With little protection against the elements, these cats cannot be left out in the cold, they don't like to sit on cold surfaces and they do appreciate central heating. Those that do go outside in the Sunday may need sun protection on pale skin. The Siamese cat is probably as well known for its loud vocal personality as for its classic looks. The breed is usually outgoing, extroverted, and can be extremely noisy. Siamese cats demand attention and to be part of the family. This is not an ideal cat for someone out at work all day as they do not like to be left on their own, two littermates Siamese may be the answer. Siamese cats are highly intelligent and need to be kept amused. Toys and scratching posts should be provided for their amusement, and they can be taught to retrieve toys. They are a highly social cat. If you are gone during the day, the Sphinx and Siamese will enjoy having a friend in the form of another Sphinx or Siamese, another cat, or even a dog. They like the company and, equally importantly, they like having someone to snuggle with so that he stays warm. They love to be held, and you can expect them to sleep with you, most likely under the covers. Think of it as having a living hot water bottle. As for all pets, always ask your breeder for a health guarantee for your Sphinx and Siamese kittens. When bred responsibly, Sphinx and Siamese cats have a generally healthy outlook. Due to its hairlessness, Sphinx cats are sensitive to sun exposure as they have no fur to protect their skin from harmful UV rays. Their direct sun exposure should be limited. Just like humans, these cats can get a sunburn if exposed to sunlight for too long. For this reason, Sphinxes should remain indoor pets or be monitored closely when outside. The most prevalent health concern for Siamese cats is an eye condition. Cross-eyed Siamese was common decades ago, the same gene that gave them colored points also resulted in faulty vision wiring in the brain. The tendency for crossed eyes was mostly bred out, but it still means that Siamese have less acute vision than other cats and they are more at risk of being hit by vehicles when outside after dark. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Are they hypoallergenic? Despite her hairlessness, the Sphinx is not considered hypoallergenic because her skin still produces normal amounts of allergy-causing dander. Sphinx cats tend to have oily skin and need to be bathed regularly to avoid becoming greasy. Siamese is not hypoallergenic. However, as the Siamese is not a heavy shedder, this breed could be a good pick for someone who is usually allergic to cats. Sphinx cats love food, and their potbellies prove it. They will eat anything you offer them. 
you should still pay close attention to their nutrition, though. Sphinx cats have a high metabolism and a sensitive digestion system, so small meals in regular intervals throughout the day is ideal. Serving food this way prevents cats from getting disinterested in their meals too. Some Sphinx cat owners opt for a raw food diet and claim numerous health benefits. Experts suggest a rotating diet of raw fish, like tuna or sardines, in addition to kibble and wet canned cat food. Dry cat food can help keep Sphinx and Siamese's teeth and gums healthy, while wet food provides fluids for cats that may not drink enough water. Be sure to provide fresh, clean water so your cat doesn't avoid it. While many cats moderate what they eat naturally, some will overeat if they have free access to food. If you see your cat gaining weight, you may want to provide two meals a day and take away any uneaten portions. Your cat may need a modified diet with advancing age. Discuss your cat's nutritional needs with your veterinarian. Avoiding obesity is the best way to allow your cat to live to a healthy older age. Despite his bald body, a sphinx requires at least as much grooming as cats with fur and maybe even more. Their skin must be kept moisturized with a gentle, scent-free lotion or oil, and they need weekly baths so as not to leave greasy spots on your furniture and clothing. Use a gentle baby shampoo or moisturizing shampoo and rinse thoroughly, especially between the folds of the wrinkles. If you begin bathing your sphinx kitten while he is young, he will learn to accept and sometimes even enjoy baths. Baby wipes will help to keep him clean between baths. Although the Sphinx feels warm to the touch, he doesn't have a fur coat to keep him warm. If you're cold, he probably is too. Buy him a nice sweater or two to help him retain heat. If your Sphinx has an outdoor enclosure where he can sunbathe, be sure to apply cat-safe sunscreen to his skin to prevent sunburn. The short, fine coat of the Siamese is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Brush their teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes daily with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check their ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats, Sphinx and Siamese are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep a Sphinx and Siamese as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such an unusual cat without paying for it. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.